Ready everyone, welcome to another OBS tutorial on this channel. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can stream from single OBS to multiple platforms at once. That means in case you want to stream to YouTube, to Twitch, to Kik, to whatever else at the same time from one OBS studio, this is the right video for you. So let's go for it. Okay, so first of all, you want to go towards this web page of the GitHub. Link will be in the description of the video. This is basically where you can download the plugin Thanks Watch. You can multi-stream towards the multiple platforms all at once from the single OBS. Yes. So here you will simply go down and there you can see the assets. Here it depends whether you are using Linux, Mac OS or Windows. In my case I'm the Windows user so I'm going with the Windows versions and I prefer to go with the zip as the installer has one problem that in case your OBS is not installed where it should be in default that means I believe in C program files and so on. What's not the case for me so then it's causing some kind of problems. This is why I'm going with the zip. So I will simply click on this row and now I will choose where I want to save it in my downloads. Okay okay so it's already downloaded I can open it as you can see, this is basically what this plugin looks like. It's nothing special, but basically what you want to do now, you want to put those two folders towards your OBS folder. In my case, my OBS folder is in this PC. I will go to D, I will go to OBS Studio and to OBS Studio once again. And all I have to do is select those two files and drag and drop them towards the OBS Studio folder. Like this and voila, it's basically done. All of this multi-stream plugin is now in our OBS Studio folder and next time I open my OBS it's actually there. So let's take a look at this. I'm opening OBS and look at this. Here at the left as in a dock we can find the multiple output. What is basically this plugin thanks which we can multi-stream to multiple platforms at the same time. Okay so now basically we downloaded and installed the multi-stream plugin. We have it already in our OBS. In case you don't see it in your OBS you can simply go towards your docs and it may be that it's not actually turned on in your docs so you will simply click on multiple output it's like this and as you can see now i actually unchecked it that means it disappeared from my obs but for the purpose of this video of course i want to have it there so i will click once again on the multiple output like this and as you can see it's actually on the left side from my preview just as another doc that we got there so now in case you would like to actually multi-stream to multiple platforms first of all make sure that you have enough internet speed so you can easily stream towards the multiple platforms because count with me you need 6000 bitrate if you want to stream towards one platform for example twitch let's say you want to stream towards the youtube as well you need another 6000 at least next you need around 4000 for your games and let's Let's say you are watching some videos or browsing the web browser you need something around the 2000 4000 depends how many windows you got opened so in the end it quite much depends on your internet speed so in case your upload what is the main factor of your internet speed in case you are streaming so in case your upload is not so fast and it's not over 10 megabits basically i do not advise you to even try to multi-stream but in case you got quite a good internet you can go with this okay now let's actually go and set up the multi-stream obs so in my case let's say that in default i want to stream towards the twitch so the default settings of the obs will be set up for the twitch as per best obs settings that you can set up for your 1080p 60 fps stream and this multi-stream plugin i will actually use for stream Let's say towards the YouTube. So first of all, I want to set up this Twitch stream. So I will go normally towards the settings and I will set up everything as it should be. So I will go to stream. I will click on Twitch, use stream key, paste here my stream key. Everything about the best streaming settings for Twitch 1080p and 60 FPS you can find in my another video. So I will not go through all of this. I will set up the output, everything as it should be, 6000 bitrate, uh, keyframe, preset tuning, everything as it should be audio i will set up as well make sure that you have set up your default microphone as the default microphone and i will go of course towards the video as well as i want to set up 1080p stream in 60 fps so then i will click on apply and ok and now we are going to set up our youtube stream so in my case as you can see there is nothing set up yet this is how you will see it as soon as you will download and install your multi-stream plugin now i will simply click on add new target i will name it for example youtube like this and here it is where the show begins. Okay, so first of all, you need to paste here your stream URL. So in case you are streaming from YouTube and as soon as you are already in something like this, I believe you know this in case you don't, I simply went toward the top, I went to live stream and it is basically what occurred, okay? So this is basically my YouTube live stream studio. And down there you can see stream URL. I will simply copy this and I will paste it towards my URL 
line so like this and then it wants from me the stream key i will go once again towards the youtube and stream key as you can see here i will simply click on copy i don't want to show it for you and then i will go back to obs and i will paste it here Okay, now we are going towards the video settings. Basically, what you want to do is keep the OBS settings same as you set it up for your original stream. So in my case, I originally set up everything in the settings for my Twitch stream and I want to copy those settings for my YouTube stream as well. So I will keep encoder as get from OBS, scene, same and resolution, it will be same. In case you want to change it, you can simply click on the encoder and change it by your own preference. So for example, I will click on this and then you can set up here multiple more options, same as previously in this settings but what i heard is that in case you are changing those settings from the original of your obs settings it may actually take more usage from your pc that means watch out and try it firstly before you even try to multi-stream like this and with different video settings so in my case as i said i want to go with original settings so i will click on get from obs audio settings same one here encoder get from obs audio mixer one just like this and then I want to click on sync start with the OBS that means as soon as I will start my stream in the default OBS it will actually start this YouTube stream as well at the same time but watch out because some streaming platforms you need to confirm that you are going live for example at a YouTube as soon as you will start your stream in the OBS then you will click somewhere here at the top that you are actually going live okay so don't forget about it i'm not sure how it's working with facebook live i believe with kick you don't need that one but with youtube as soon as you are going live you need to confirm it here at the youtube so in my case i prefer to go in with the same settings as the original obs as there is lower chance that there will actually occur some problem with the obs and also there should be lower pc usage as soon as you are using the same settings for all of your streams okay so now i will click on ok as you can see it's actually added here at the left so in case i want to delete it i can simply click on this in case i want to modify my settings i can click on the modify and in case i want to start my youtube stream only i can click on start but as we said we check the sync start with obs thanks what as soon as we will start the normal stream it will start the youtube stream as well so we don't need to worry about this at all what I would mention also is that you can basically multi-stream from single OBS towards your Twitch, Geek, YouTube, Facebook Gaming or whatever else thanks to this plugin, but you can also add your vertical plugin about which I had recently my video and thanks to this you can actually stream not only towards those 16 to 9 live streams like Twitch, Geek and YouTube and so on, but you can stream towards your TikTok or IG or whatever else at the 9 to 16 resolution as well at the same time from single OBS. But once again, watch out for your PC usage and for your internet speed because not everybody has strong enough PC to handle multiple streams two three four more streams and not everybody has such a good internet speed so they can handle all of the streams at the same time okay ladies and gentlemen that's all for this video there is one more thing that i would like to mention at the end of this video basically not all of the streaming platforms has the same guidelines and same rules regarding the multi-stream that means in case you are for example affiliate or partner with twitch you basically cannot multi-stream towards the other streaming platforms at the same time so in the end, in case you want to try the multi-stream, you need to check three things. How strong is your PC, whether you can handle multiple streams at the same time. How fast is your internet connection? This is basically what you can test up at various pages over the internet, like Oculus P test or anywhere else. And what are the guidelines about the multi-stream on each of the platform you want to stream on? Okay, but for now, it's really all for this video. Really hope you found it what you were looking for. Hope you are good and video fine. Thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time.